YouTube. Uh, we're gonna do a another rendition of the 2015 Honda CRV CVT oil change. This one's gonna incorporate all the different comments and uh, critiques and whatnot that I've received in the comments. So thank you all for who have subscribed or liked or commented on any of the videos and I'm glad that these videos are helping you out. Uh, today it's going to be kind of the same thing as last time with the addition of changing the filter element. Uh, this, is, this filter is not in any of the manuals that I've seen or any of the maintenance intervals or any of that. It is, however, on the Acura versions of the CVT, which is the same thing. So, anyway, I'm going to be changing that today. Uh, so the only addition to this whole process is going to be accessing that filter and changing out some O-rings and tightening it down. Um, but you're going to need the same stuff. You're going to need five quarts of your... CBT oil of choice. Uh, you can use the Honda stuff if you want, but as you can see on here, see if I can get it to focus. Anyway, right there it says meets or exceeds Honda HCF2. So it's the same stuff, just cheaper. And you need gloves and a drain pan and a funnel, and you'll need 3 8 drive ratchet to get your drain plug out, a 10, a 12. I'm also gonna need a 10 mil deep well just to get my battery box out because I'm going to be taking battery box out, or not battery box, I guess the battery tray in this one. So I'm gonna be taking the battery tray out just so I can actually film how to get that uh, cooler off because your filter is actually gonna be located behind it. So this is your, this is going to be your uh, transmission cooler, and the filter and O-rings are going to be placed behind this. So you don't need to drain your coolant. I hope to get this. Uh, I don't think I'm going to. I'm just going to kind of move it out of the way, pop the new filter in, pop the new O-rings on, put it back. Uh, but first things first, I'm going to take that battery tray out right up there so that I can film it from above because there's two, there's three bolts holding this thing on and two of them are on the top, so I feel like it'll make a better video if I take that out for you. But I, I'm fairly confident that you could get it out from here. And then, so just go over. So this is your drain bolt right here. Uh, it's got this little shield on it. Um, that just takes your 3H drive socket. And then that right there will be your fluid fill indicator. We'll go over that later. But you can see that I'm going to do all this without jacking it up. It's not on level ground right now, but I will back it onto level ground when I fill it up. And that'll be fine. And, okay, well, we're going to get to it here. Uh, first thing is going to be taking the battery out. I'll probably just loosen everything and then pull it all out uh, one at a time. That way it saves save some time and I don't have to find the right size stuff and I'll just be able to tell you what it is. So, all right, cool. Let's get to it. Probably not gonna have to do this to change that filter, but I'm just gonna do it for filming purposes. So if you are gonna do it this way, you're gonna take your battery out, battery box, and then you're, so first step, you're gonna loosen these bolts right here. So you have these four 10 millimeter bolts that hold your top bracket on here. So you just take those out, movie magic, they're already loose. Sorry, if you wanted to see me struggle to take those out. I'm just gonna set them there so they don't go anywhere. This guy. And... I haven't had anything fall off yet that I've been taking, taking off, but that's okay. So that bolt doesn't come all the way out. If you can slip this bracket off, just kind of lift up and we can angle it out. I'm just gonna set it right here and I'm gonna put bolts back in it so I remember where they went because it's kind of a lot. And three. Alright, so there's that. And then, so the next step, you have two 12 millimeter bolts. One here. So one goes right here. And 
kind of behind this cable. Here holding this plate on. You can see, so there's 112 here and there's 112 back here. That's down at the bottom. So you're gonna loosen those guys. You're gonna take off your little clips that hold your wire run in here and here. And then once you get that off, take these 10 mils out, one and two. Should be wiggling pretty good. Yeah. Okay, so now I'm gonna take that final 12 out. And it's pretty loose. Should come out and try not to lose anything. There's another 12. There, and this plate should it's wiggling, but it's not coming. So, what's it attached to? Here, uh, it's got all these other cables. This is moving. Let's see. Okay. Okay, got the battery tray out. These are the two that I was saying were kind of hard to get to. Uh, you can come and see. They're just attached to your frame here. So you got a 12 mil here and a 12 mil here that this just slips down onto. Uh, that's a pain. Like I said, you probably don't have to take this off. But what we're getting at is this cooler here. So this is your transmission cooler, this little ribbed guy. So you're gonna have to get to these two and then there's one on the bottom. I believe they're all 12 mil. Let me just check, verify that real quick. Let me just check. And yes, it is a 12 mil. So you only need a 12 mil to get that off. You don't have to do disconnect your coolant lines. And so we'll just get into draining the CBT ribbon. So you leave your pan. I recommend doing this outside because it does stink pretty bad. Just put your pan under there and my ratchet go. So you just take your ratchet, three inch drive, and then you're going to go under. And this is your drain plug here. I've already gone over it. Where's the drain plug? Sorry. Right okay. So it's a drain plug. So you can just, and you don't need to jack your car up for this. You can if you want to, but I don't. So you just break that loose, slip your pan under, loosen it up. And bam, out comes the fluid. Still looks pretty good. And there's, you just want to check your magnet, make sure it's not full of metal debris, because that would be an indicator that something bad has happened. So, just drain it out. Uh, I'll just probably pop that cap off real quick, because this is your check level. This bolt here is your check level. Oh, I don't know if I could see it. You don't know? Oh, you're going to show them. Yeah, I'll show them. So, this bolt here is your check check bolt. So when you're filling it, you're just going to fill it until it just barely starts trickling out of there. And so, Like I said, this is still pretty good. The main reason I'm doing this is to get to that filter. I haven't done that filter change ever, and it's been 140000 on this thing. So, we'll see how bad that is. So yeah, so we'll just let that drain and just waiting patiently for the fluid to drain. Okay, so now that the fluid is, well, it's still currently draining, but most of it's out, should be out of the top. You're just going to take your 12 mil and you're going to get these three bolts loose. I already broke them free. They weren't incredibly tight. 
Uh, the thing you're gonna have to overcome is the torque on the O-rings down there. So these two, the bottom one, I couldn't get it from here just because it was running into everything, so just get it from the bottom. But again, I am fairly confident that if you tried hard enough, you can get this without taking the battery out and everything. So just gonna loosen these bolts here. We'll see if they're, I've never taken this off, so. This thing has 140,000 on it. Oh, I'm scared. <laughs> so we'll see how bad it is. And I apologize for any people that were commenting that there was a filter on this that didn't get changed. Uh, and I maintain that Honda didn't say anything about any sort of filter changes in there maintenance reminders so it's okay the bolts are the same so you don't really have to match where that goes take that bottom one out real quick you can just film from the top if you want i'll give it a try and we'll see how much fluid comes out of this thing so there's just one more on the bottom down here I put some cardboard down just because I think this is going to make a, yeah, I figured it'd make a mess. Put the, move the drain pan over just as much as I thought it would leak out, but it's probably going to run all over the transmission. <laughs> And so if you were just going to replace your cooler so you had any sort of contamination between your coolant and your transmission fluid, uh, I know that's a pretty big deal on Volkswagens and stuff, but if you were going to replace it, you would just do the same thing and you take your coolant lines off and you pop a new one on and that would be it. So it's kind of a multi-purpose video. All right. So that separated all three bolts are the same. I don't know what the torque is. I'm just going to torque it until the o-rings seem nice. And so we'll just separate it from there. You can see your o-rings are set on here. So you got a large o-ring and a small o-ring. And you have an alignment pin and everything. And lo and behold, there's a filter in there. Look at that. So this has been in there for 140,000 miles. So <laughs> it might be kind of in there. So I'm just going to use some pliers to try to get it out. I'm going to try. So I'm just going to grab it from... And, uh, there you go, it wiggled. It is plastic on the bottom, so I wouldn't be too crazy on it, but if you just work at it, you'll get it. Might be the hardest part. <laughs> Tiny hands. There we go. Got it. All right. So, 140,000 mile filter. Let's see what it looks like. Oh uh, yeah. It's so, is it bad? No, it's not crazy. Is it supposed to be white? I uh, wonder. No, the replacement one's pink. Oh. But there's nothing too crazy on there. This we'll doesn't look pink. Put a magnet to it. See if there's any cool metal? metal or anything. Okay. Well, it should flow the other way, so you won't see anything on this side. But let's just compare our kits here. So this is what you get in the kit. It's the same filter. There is another O-ring on top of this guy though. I wonder if you need that. I'll just put that like that. <laughs> <laughs> <Look at> that. <laughs> Perfect. Because the kit only comes with two, so. And I thought I saw two 
So these are what the kit comes with. This was on the other filter. Because so, I thought I saw two on here, right? Yeah, so, oh, okay. So they don't come with this o-ring here. So hopefully that'll be fine. We're not going to replace that one. And is this one even the right size? No, it's not. Hmm. All right, so I'm not going to mess with those o-rings at all. So this kit is actually not the right kit for this. The mm. fil filter looks the same though. Okay, so after like more measuring and research, I researched that 5A10 and didn't find anything. Uh, but I did measure, so you can come over here. So I did measure once I have, well, let me zero it. So zero. So once you have the O-ring on there and you measure it with it incompressed, just the width of it, you got like 44.27 millimeters. And then if you put this back on the original filter, it's gonna be exactly the same. So I feel pretty comfortable and it's only off by one millimeter lengthwise. Uh, so I'm very confident that it's gonna be fine. So, and you know what, if this O-ring leaks, then I'll go get a new O-ring. But it wasn't leaking before, it's cleaned up, it's not leaking now, so it should be fine. And the old filter was starting to yeah, kind, kind of, of fall apart. apart. Kind of fall apart a little bit, but not too crazy. Just gonna put it on there and it does seat just like the other one does so again I'm confident that's fine and so you just want to make sure your surfaces are clean before you retighten that stuff where did it go what I was trying to show where it was okay. but I don't know where it is oh wait there oh okay there it is yeah, that's, right there. that's the top okay. and then We'll just see if any of these O-rings are right in this kit. This may be the wrong kit, but I don't know. Let's see. So, is this one even the right one? No. So, I don't know. Like I said, this kit was for an Acura. Oh. But, but it's the same transmission, so. Well, that's a problem. Well, it's pretty much the same, so. Just a little different. So, I just took the filter, clean this up. Real good. And I'm very confident that it'll be fine. So, make sure your O-rings are still there. Make sure you just get one bolt started and then get the next bolt started and then I'll do the bottom one. So is it worth changing the filter on this? I don't know, but maybe if you can find the same exact one, I couldn't find it. So they're hard to find. Yeah, well it's because there's no real information on it. If you look in the drawing for this, like in the actual Honda manual, it shows that there's a filter and it shows that there's that part number, but there's no real <laughs> place to buy it per se. I have a conspiracy theory about this, by the way. I was asked not to share it. <laughs> so, we're going to call this good enough. Okay, so once you got it all drained out, you just go ahead and get your drain plug put back in there, cleaned off. Make sure your crush washer is replaced on there. Just like that. And then we're going to just tighten it down until the crush washer is compressed. Don't do anything crazy. So I'm just going to ratchet in there. Okay. So that's pretty tight. Uh, again, if it leaks, you can always tighten it more, but once you've over tightened, there's no going back. Um, so, and I have my drain plug out right now. And all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start filling until it starts coming out of that. 
So it's the next step. So I'm gonna put this drain or this catch right here. Leave the plug here. And get up. Okay. So again, that's your fill right here. So you just grab this cover here and you lift it off. It's just a little plug. So I just set that to the Okay, so I got my funnel in place here. I put that uh, top uh, check bolt back in uh, just because as you're filling these, inevitably it'll come out that top hole. Um, so I just put it in and then I'll just add my four because this takes four point like six or four point eight. So I'll just add four of these and then on the last one, I will remove the top bolt and just fill until it comes out. So, but yeah, you just get your funnel in there. And I know if you hold it the other way, it won't do that, but you know, it's kind of hard to hold it anyway. So, just do that. There's one. Okay, so that's four. Um, I'll go down and take that top bolt, check bolt out real quick. I'll show you. So, we know it's a still a quart low, but you'll see when you take this out, you're gonna get a little bit of trickle out. Can't really film it and do it at the same time, it's kind of tight. So, a little tiny bit came out. Um, so, we're gonna leave that out for this portion and what you're going to look for is you're going to fill it until it starts trickling out of there and that's how you know that you're at the level um, and then we're going to start it run through all the gears and we're going to check it again after that so okay Okay, so after you put on the brake. Yep, and then after you've already filled it and made sure there's no leaks anywhere. Everything looks pretty good. 
um, and you put obviously put all your plugs back in and everything. Then you're gonna go through, uh, you're gonna put your foot on the brake and you're gonna go through all the gears one at a time. So reverse. Until you can kind of hear it engage. And you sit there for like 10 seconds. Then you're gonna go to neutral. Go to neutral now? Yep. I'm gonna let it sit there for a little bit. And you're just, all you're doing is filling up those passageways. And then you're gonna go to drive. Going to drive. And then you're gonna go to second, or sport. I don't know which one it is in this. Going to sport mode. <laughs> sport mode. I think it's second. It's sport. <laughs> and then low. Was that 10 seconds? Going to low. And then you're gonna go all the way back through, same as you just did. Going to second. Drive. Going to drive. Oh, I went to neutral, then back to drive. It's fine. Sorry. It's fine. Okay, if you have a little accident, neutral. Not a big deal. Okay, neutral. And you just want to be able to feel your car or hear your car doing something in each gear. And then reverse. Reverse. And then park. Going to park. Then what we're going to do is turn the car off. Take my foot off the brake. Yeah. Okay. Turn the car Turn off. Turn the car off. Yep. And then we're gonna check our fluid level one more time to make sure we're right. I did it. Okay. So to check that fluid level, what we're gonna do is we're gonna remove that check bolt real quick. You can just hand me the phone after I get down there and I'll show. You. Okay, so you said hand you the phone yeah. when you get down there. Doing something under here. So we're gonna pull. Or can you see? Mm. Not really. So we're gonna pull this check bolt. I'm not sure. So they've seen it before, but so we're just gonna pop this guy out again. And we're gonna fill it up again. Here you go. You wanna take this? And then just check that hole again and then tell me when it fills up. You gotta go back down there again. Oh, I have to go down there. Okay. Do I get to lay on the jacket again? <laughs> okay. Oh, it's a little dirtier than last time. Okay. So you're just gonna fill up again until it drains out of that the same way as it did last time. Okay. Um, I forgot what hole. Oh, here it is. That's the hole. Okay. So what am I looking for? You're just gonna wait until and tell me when it drains up. When it's when I see it running, the fluid running out of the hole. Correct. Okay. It's running out of the hole. Really? Yeah. Do you want to watch the video so you could see? Well, it's it stopped now. Well, it's going to stop filling. Sure thing. See, I think it drains out of that if the plug's not in it, honestly. <laughs> it's running. Running bad? It's running. Pretty, now it's not. Pretty solid? Oh yeah, it was like okay. thick well. stream. So it only took four and, eh, you know, four and a little bit. Well, the nice thing is you could watch the video so you can see. I did. I saw the last one. So that's oh, okay. Right. So I'm correct. Yeah, so then we're just going to button it up and uh, call it good because that's as much fluid as it's going to take. So that means the level in there is full. But again, it doesn't take all of what it says. So it takes probably four and four and a half. Maybe. 
four and a half. Both calls for like four point eight something though. So can yeah. I can I come yeah. out mm -hmm. from under here? Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> All right. So you're just gonna replace your cap on there, clean everything up, and then drive it around and look for leaks. But all right, so that's the second rendition of this video. So hopefully you enjoyed it. Uh, a little bit of a fiasco with that filter, but I think it's going to work just fine. So If you didn't have one fiasco, you didn't have fun. Yeah, or something like that. <laughs>